Hey guys, before I get on to this week's topic, I just want to say a big thanks to everyone. You're all awesome. You've had nothing but kind and supportive things to say with regards to my last video. And I just want to thank you all, so thank you. I had no idea what I was going to do for the positive prank. I Google searched positive prank, and some of the ideas that came up, I was like, well, I really can't do that. And then I thought, okay, wait, i got to think about this a different way. So what I did was I thought of, you know, pranks, and I was like, how can I make those positive? And the one that came to mind was egging. And I was like, people egg houses, people egg cars, and it sucks. So why don't I do some positive egging? So what I did was I went out and I bought chocolate Easter eggs. You know, the ones wrapped in the tin foil and like the little baggy thing. Anyway, and then I wrote out a little message that says, your car has been egged. Easter egg, that is. This has been a positive prank. And I went out and I put them, you know, on the hoods of cars, on the driver's side. And here's some of the clues that I did. Oh. You want us to think that you're just messing around, yeah. You play your life like it's a game of two-hand touch. You think if you screw up that you will never live it down. And it won't matter if you suck if you don't take it serious. But the time I really love you is when you're out there on the floor. And I can see it in your eyes that you just don't care anymore. Now, I did this at Bayshore in the underground area because I thought, you know, there's not going to be a lot of sunlight there, so that way the eggs won't melt and turn my positive prank into a disgusting mess. Now, as I was leaving one section of the parking lot to continue egging cars, a security guard walked by me, walking straight for the area that I had just been. Now, I don't know why he was going there. Maybe his car was parked there. I don't know. But at the time, I thought, oh man, he's there because of my prank, and someone said there's a suspicious kid wandering around cars and putting things on them. So, naturally, I got scared and left. So whether or not, you know, the prank there survived, I don't know. I found a few more cars on my way home, so I egged those, but I didn't take any footage of it. Sorry, guys. MC and I have decided to dub April Alan Moore Month, which means I will talk about a movie, and she will talk about the graphic novel that the movie is based on. Now, for those of you who don't know, Alan Moore is a famous graphic novelist who's had a number of his works adapted into movies. The first that I'm going to talk about is League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, or as it's more commonly known, the movie that caused Sean Connery to retire. Yes, sounds a bit harsh, but it's true. Now, trying to take the graphic novel and turn it into a movie was a challenge, especially since Fox did not own the movie rights to a lot of the literary characters used. So, obviously, they had to change some names. Now, to sum this movie up in a sentence, I would say, avoid it. It's not a very good movie, and it's not a... And it's a very, very awful adaptation of a really great graphic novel series. So, just avoid it. Now, I do have some positives to say about this movie. The effects actually are pretty good, and the other two are actors in Tony Caron and Jason Flemings, who I just like both of them, and they actually give really good performances in this. Even though Tony Caron, you don't see him because he plays the Invisible Man. Still good performance, though. That's it for me, so see you guys next week. Bye!